somebody who seems to have uh, managed somehow to make having your life limited illness uh, not the, not something of misery, but something exciting and thrilling in God's place. I'm Lucy Watts MBE and I'm 23 years old. I have a number of complex life limiting conditions. These conditions mean I'm fed through a line into my heart, I have a tube draining my stomach and I have two stoma bags. I'm also completely dependent on a wheelchair, although forced to spend a lot of time in bed and cared for at home by intensive care nurses. My life revolves around my sister's dog Molly, who couldn't be here today, sadly, and my charity work, which involves a lot of things like writing, speaking, appearing in the media, appearing in videos, and that kind of is what my life revolves around. My work is kind of with seven charities. Um, I work in numerous different roles from ambassador to trustee to lay member on committees. That's kind of my work takes the form of writing, of speaking, appearing in videos and attending events and representing charities. I said to my hospice nurse when I was doing my end of life plan that I wanted my life to mean something. I was scared I'd die and I'd just be forgotten and that would be the end of my life. Miss Lucy Watts for services to young people with disabilities. I drove in, turned, bowed, um, went up to him. He stepped off the stage to be at my level and he asked me about my work and he was very appreciative. He said to me, what have you done, you know, and keep up the good work. And I will never forget those two minutes that I was with him, I will never forget that. He cared about every single recipient, he wanted to know their story, what they'd done. I'm very genuinely appreciative of that. And even down to his, his handshake was even genuine. It's nice that they're recognising the younger generations for their work as well. They're valuing the work, not the length of time, but the impact of the work they're doing. And I think that's very important. And you're just telling me you've come in with your full-time nurse today, somebody who's crucial to your life to enable you to do what you do. And you've chosen to give your life now, the hours, time that you have, to helping other people, something that's clearly really important to you. It is. I want to feel like my life is counted and that all my experiences, good and bad, can be used to benefit someone else. We all have abilities despite our disabilities. It's about using these to benefit others within our limitations. And to me that is so vital because it enables me to make a difference. My life counts and I can be a voice for other people, but it also means I can make my life mean something. It can count, it can give back and I can leave the world a better place than when I came in. And I want to just finish with, you know, my advocates have been my heroes. And I think all of you that are advocates are heroes. So be your client's hero. Listen, support them, speak up for them, be a role model. You can and you do make a difference. Thank you.